I picked this up at an estate sale. This is an APF TV Fund vintage video game Pong that is in working condition. It does not have the power supply, but I only paid two bucks for it. And it uses batteries as well as a power supply. And let's see if I can get it off with one hand. So it takes six uh, C batteries. I did order a adapter for this because it didn't come with one to hook it up to the TV. There's the adapter right there. It hooks up to your cable or antenna outlet on your TV. I couldn't get it to work on a modern TV, but I could get it to work on this vintage Hitachi TV. I believe it's a 10 or 12 inch TV. It does work. Um, the thing about this game is that it seems to roll a little bit. So I've adjusted the TV as much as I can. Um, the sound comes from this unit, not necessarily the TV. So it's not like the Atari or whatever. And it is gonna roll when you, when you see the video when you videotape video, it always has a roll on it, but there is a roll that happens in the screen a little bit. I think it could either be the connection from here to the TV or something else. I don't know, but this is a working vintage 1976 game. A lot of them that are listed on eBay, if they say they work, they show a picture of the screen, um, but they do not show... I just push start. So you can see there's a little bit of... Uh, on this side right here, a little bit of a screen flicker, but it does work. And now I'm gonna push start, and um, I'm not very good at this. And I should probably put it on, ball speed should be slow because I'm slow. There it is, now it's working. It is harder than you think. The interesting thing is that when you have, um, you use one or the other, um, you, if I turn the other one like this, it doesn't do anything on this game, but it does. Well, I'm hitting it, I hit it again. So this is a vintage game. You would think it'd be easier, but you're turning this dial to, to do the game. So it's like a uh, just a dial and um, it's not a joystick. And um, this is one of the games. I don't know what, I don't have the instruction. Oh, I do have the instruction manual. So this did come with the instruction manual for it. And, um, a lot of them that are sold on eBay don't come with the instruction manuals or the boxes or anything. This did not come with the box. I did see one listed that sold for $80 uh, that had damage to the console unit. And um, those were going for uh, 80 bucks that had the box that had condition issues. Um, this is a two player unit here. Uh, it's weird because you got to use either one or the other. So I don't have anybody to play with me So right now. And it looks like the game goes up to 15 points. So after you hit 15 points, the game stops. Um, it's over. So there are there's a couple two-player games. This is on Selector 1. Sorry about the video there. Selector 1. This is 2. It's kind of like soccer. Like soccer. Uh, this is an individual game. You're just trying to keep it from going out into Never Never Land. And then um, this looks like a one-player game. So number four is a one-player game. And so you have Amateur Professional Angle. You have um, Professional Bat Size. And you look at that, it got real small. It's real small on the bat size. And then you can change um, the ball speed. Now, I did it on fast. Man, that was hard. And you would think it wouldn't be hard, but I haven't played this kind of game in a long, long time. So, um, but this is this is a pretty cool find for two dollars to find a vintage working game. Um, you know, I've had I had one of these, a similar one. Somebody had cut the cord off, and um, it sold uh, for about. 25 18 to 25 dollars i can't remember exactly off the top of my head um so 
even broken, these work pretty good for sales. And I say work, I mean they are sellable um, because they're gone. There's not a lot of them. Um, and if you go look on eBay or other platforms, they're just starting a lot listed. And I think it really is it's something you'll sell more on eBay because you can do a video like this and show that the unit works. Um, now, if you list on a phone, you're not going to be able to put a video on there unless you do a workaround where you log in from Google and all that stuff. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Link the video I list uh, of this working unit because this is pretty cool. Um, I was pretty excited. I tried my TV that's back there, the bigger modern one, and it would not work because you have to be on channel three or four. And um, it goes to four one. It goes to the digital channels. I wasn't going to fool around any more than I had to to show that it functions. So I just um, hooked it up to this Hitachi that I got picked up. And um, I get these TVs, if you want to believe it, for free. And nobody wants them around here. Um, so I get them for free. And um, uh, I get a lot of TVs for free. People just give them to me. Uh, if, if I go there, you want that? And I'll say yes. And I have sold these. I have a, um, as I was going out there, I forgot I even had a, a TV VCR combo out there. It needs the end of the cord replaced. But um, so that's another thing I, when I went out there to the garage to find a TV, I found out I need to get one uh, fixed and get it sold because they'll sell pretty good for me. So this is a fun game. Um, and I'm trying to do my best to show you it without uh, having any problems. I'm trying to do this one handed so it's not real easy. And it's not, not a lot of flicker here. So that's great. That's great. Um, the sound doesn't go through the TV, it goes through the, the unit, so, um, the, uh, video game unit. So, you can get an AC adapter, I wasn't going to get one, um, because it works. And that's all I want to show, I'm not going to go out and buy an AC adapter, I know some people would, because they say they would get more money. I didn't even look to see if I had one in the garage, um, uh, because I'm... Wilco has it, the TV fun game with extra features for everyone, youngster or pro. There's automatic scoring, and not just one game, but four. You can choose tennis, or hockey, handball, or squash. To increase the challenge, switch to a faster ball speed and a sharper angle. Even change the bat size. The TV fun game with extra features is at Wilco now, fifty-nine eighty-eight. And um, it was more time, and I can get the quick buck if I just sell it like this, with you know, battery operated. And um, if somebody wishes to go get one, they can. You have to use these on a vintage TV. I mean, um, vintage computer TV, you've got to use them on there. See, 15, the ball goes right through, so it's over. Um, so that is it. This is my thing I found, a uh, video game I found, an EPF TV Fun, and it works. And now it's in pretty good shape. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I don't do these kind of videos much. Um, and um, just because I just don't. I mean, I, I don't know why. Um, they are fun. And you get to see my messy living room with all the Legos that my kid has. Um, oop, there I go. There I go. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to uh, my channel. And um, if you like this kind of stuff, I can do more. I enjoy doing this. It is more work. It takes longer time to do it, but I enjoy it. And um, it can be a lot of fun to test these kind of things. I don't find video games a whole lot. I'm not a person that seeks out looking for video games. But if I find them, I do buy them, especially if they're really old ones. I, you know, I don't know a whole lot about the new ones. I don't really care about the new ones, except if I can get one. I test it basically to make sure it works. And um, that's about it. And um, this is something I have a little more knowledge of. I guess it's from my era. Um, so... Thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to hit that like button.